Well, <clears throat> Affinity Publisher on a um, on an iPad Mini 4 screen. Now, isn't that interesting? It's practically unusable, but there you go. That's <laughs> that's really interesting. It's very small, and as I said, very unreadable. So, publisher on a on an iPad, mm, I don't know, marginal. But if you want to see what's happening and you need to do, you need to fix something, you probably can't type your text in there because I've got a story in there. But um, you can probably read a page at a time. There's dual print pages there. And uh, there you go. Hmm, very interesting. I'm recording this on an iPad Mini 4, which you can't run any of the Affinity programs on anyway because it's not compatible. But how am I doing it? <clears throat> I'm using Duet. And because I've got an older version of um, a Mac Mini, 2012 version, I don't have Sidecar on there. So I'm using Duet. D-U-E-T. Lovely little program. You can run it as, as Wi-Fi if you want to pay £18 a year for the privilege, or you can just plug it into a USB port, plug your iPad into a USB port, and away it goes. Um, it's the free version. Now, if I had a full-size um, full size iPad, that would probably be usable, like, a, like an iPad Pro or something like that. But this is the iPad Mini. So there you go. Um, just to show you what can be done. And you can see the mouse. It, it acts as a third screen because I've got I've actually now got three screens on here. Let me see if I can show you those screens. System preferences, the displays, and there's the arrangement. This is the screen I'm on. You can see blinking away there. That's the main screen, which of course you can't see blinking. And there's the other screen, the third screen, which of course, whoops, you can't see blinking, which is not what I wanted to do. Don't want to go to Windows. Let's just close that before we end up in too much trouble. But there you go, that's all I wanted to show you. Pretty clever.